Hey everyone, it's Tyler and Michelle Stroik from Universal Rackets, and today we are going to be going over a huge topic at the kitchen, and it is recovery. If you can learn how to recover into the proper position while you're at the kitchen, you're going to be able to hit way more quality shots and win more points. Through, through this whole video, we're going to be teaching you step-by-step -step and different tips and tricks to make sure that you are always recovered and in the proper position. I feel like many players, they get out of place after every single dink or every single volley, and then that's the reason why they can't hit the next ball. It's not because they don't have a good shot, it's just because they haven't recovered in the right position. Do you have any comments for that? Yes, and a lot of times you may not realize that you're doing this, that you have bad footwork, that you have bad positioning on court. So if you're always hitting the ball into the net, take a look at your positioning on court. Yes, and hopefully this video for everyone will help you make you more proactive and not reactive on the pickleball court. Yeah. Uh, speak a little bit on anticipation and how big the aspect of anticipation is in pickleball. Yes, if you can be one step ahead of your opponents and have a plan going into your point with your partner, you are going to win more points. The reason is if you can recognize what your opponent's going to do, you can respond directly to that and then attack their weakness in the next shot. So if you see someone's paddle going up high, they're going to come down on the ball. If their paddle is really low, the only place they can go is up if they want to clear the net. So take a look at what your opponent's doing and try to stay one step ahead. Yes, and in this video, we're going to be doing two things. Number one, recovery with our footwork, and then number two, recovery with our paddle. You need to recover with your feet and also with your paddle position. So let's get started, let's get into the video. So the first thing that we're going to go over with recovery is recovery at the kitchen. You need to make sure that you always get back to your starting position with your feet. I want you to think, if we're playing doubles and this is more made for doubles players, you have this half of the court, they have that half of the court. A lot of players go wrong because they'll have an out wide ball, they'll go for the out wide ball, they'll stay here, and then their opponent will go down the middle. After you get pulled out wide, you need to make sure that you always recover to the middle. And also, after I go out to the side towards the middle, I always need to make sure I get to the middle. I want you to think that the middle of the kitchen right here is a magnet. It's continually pulling you in. So anytime I go out here, I'm always going to get pulled back here. Anytime I go out here, again, I'm always going to get pulled back here. Now, how do we do that? It's very simple. After you finish your shot, instead of falling out of position, you wanna make sure that you fall back in the position. So again, after I get pulled out wide, what I'm going to do is instead of keep on going with my body weight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to finish on that leg, and then I'm going to push back. Again, a lot of players, they just go out and they keep on moving this way. Instead, what you wanna do is after you go out, you wanna end up on your outside leg and then push back. So here's the thing that you can do to practice this. You do not even need to have a paddle. You could just have your hands here. And all you're going to do is when you go out wide, you're going to end up on your outside leg and then you're going to push back. Again, I'm going to go out wide. I'm going to end on my outside leg. One more, I'm gonna go out wide and I'm just going to feel my weight stop so then I can push back. You want to load into the ground and then explode off the ground rather than again hitting and just running off the pickleball court. Now the next thing that you want to do, not only with my feet, and I can do it this way as well, I'm going to go here and then push back. Again, I'm going to go here and then push back. The next thing that I can do is I need to make sure that my paddle always recovers in the proper position. A lot of players, they get in hands battles, it goes really quick, and their paddle ends up down and then they have to bring it up and they can't get to the next ball. I need to make sure once I'm done, my paddle always recovers in the proper position and that is out in front of my body. You want to make sure that you always start where you finish and you finish where you start. So if I hit a ball here, I'm going to finish here and be ready for the next ball. If I finish here, I'm going to again, start here and be ready for the next ball. So I need to always make sure my paddle ends up in the proper position. A lot of players, again, they go wrong because they'll swing, they'll come across their body and then the next ball is coming and then it hits me. 
think the faster that you hit it, the faster the ball is going to come back. So a great drill to do is to utilize your non-dominant hand. And every single time that you finish, you're going to make sure that your paddle ends up touching your non-dominant hand, kind of like you're making a clap. The reason why it's so good is because every single time it touches my non-dominant hand, that ensures that I am in the proper position. So if you can think that you're recovering with your feet more and your paddle more efficiently and effectively at the kitchen, you're going to be so much better off while you're playing pickball. Now, if you want any types of clinics, fundraiser, corporate events, special event near you, make sure you click the Google form in the link in the description. Make sure to follow myself on Instagram. Make sure to follow the Pickle Yogi. Have a good one. Happy hitting. Make sure you're recovering and win more points in pickleball.